ladies and gentlemen. I would like to uh, tell some words concerning the problems of the Mesolithic um, in the southern Balkans. As you know, among the several, we have now the several tens of Mesolithic sites recorded in the southern Balkans, and only some have been excavated and radiometrically dated to the early Holocene. Other sites are surface collection that are difficult to define as Mesolithic because the taxonomic diversity of Mesolithic industries, which I will show in my presentation, is fa fairly large. In this, on this map, the, the group of sites uh, marked by circles are uh, undated and um, uh, it's a problem to uh, uh, put to, to conclude that these sites are really Mesolithic. Uh, here is only the group of sites. This picture is showing the Mesolithic in the southern Balkans, which is which we have practically only ten systematically explored and dated sites. Most uh, of the cave sites are multi-layer, and some, such as Sarakenos, Frank, Tiklisura, Cave One, below Mesolithic layer, there are Epipaleolithic strata. Most sites provide a series of radiometric, mainly AMS dates in the interval between the beginning of the Holocene, the um, first half of the eighth millennium, like Marulas, Frankti, phase seven, and the period of the early Holocene event, uh, this means uh, for the uh, first half, second half of the uh, eighth millennium and the first half of the seventh millennium. Some dates of for Mesolithic sites are even younger, for example, Sidari, um, the dates between uh, 8,200 uh, and 7,600 are re in reality contemporaneous with the dates for the early Neolithic in Eastern Balkans. Here are the radiometric the whole set of radiometric dates for Mesolithic sites in Southern Balkans. And here you can see that these um, dates are usually according to the stratigraphic sequences. And here is, uh, there are radiometric dates for Epipaleolithic, Mesolithic, Mesolithic and Early Neolithic sequences in the Eastern Balkans. Uh, here you have, uh, uh, you can see that this is, for example, in Frankly Cave, the gap between late and final Paleolithic and um, Mesolithic. And also in Sarakenos Cave, there is also a gap, even bigger gap, between there are not marked the sites for the late pale final Paleolithic uh, uh, layers and the Mesolithic layers. And oh, you can see also the relation between these uh, Mesolithic sequences and early Neolithic in Greece. The investigated Mesolithic sites were situated in various environmental contexts. The differing environmental systems resulted in different ways of adaptation of subsistence economy to local condition. In the effect, we can see a number of adaptation systems of subsistence economy that are parallel and that exploit different resources of the environment. Interrelation of human activity and culture were also manifested in the different system of social organization, interregional contacts, and cultural taxonomy. We, uh, I will speak here about uh, three different systems of these adaptations of the Mesolithic in Southern Balkans. First, there are intracontinental adaptation. I will take here as example the Klisura Cave 1, the sequence uh, where we have Ep Epigravetian layer 2, and before uh, Epigravetian layer 3 prime, and a Mesolithic and three Mesolithic layer 5A53. And uh, un, un, unlike in the upper Paleolithic, below this layer 3 prime, 
this sequence show a distinct domination of fast-moving animals, birds, hare, followed by medium, medium-sized ungulates, ibex, fallow deer, and large ungulates like Equus hedrontinus, red deer, white pig, come in this third position. This here, according to uh, Mrs. Starkovich, who studied the fauna, you can see that this between this epigravetian layer 2, uh, 2 AD, and Mesolithic layers, there are practically the same structure of the faunistic remains. Of course, uh, I didn't mention that the situation of this cave is in the large, um, now uh, dry valley, uh, in the r rocky um, uh, environment. Sorry. Yes. Uh, <coughs> here, this is uh, the lithic industry from Klisura Cave 1, from Mesolithic layers 5a and 3. And we can see that uh, in this Mesolithic layer, the epi -tradition, epigravetian tradition is well visible. Um, you have in layer 5a this uh, type of uh, uh, some uh, uh, truncated shouldered uh, point and also you have uh, this, but uh, the rectangles, uh, triangles, but this is also interesting, the presence of this uh, very thin, um, bilaterally uh, retouched um, pieces, which are similar to softerian points. And some of these softerian elements you can see also in layer three, in layer three, uh, we, but generally, lay, uh, in layer three, is a continuation of the same lithic uh, um, typological tradition. But in this intracontinental environment, uh, we have completely different site and completely different Mesolithic industries. This is the example of the. Uh, I forget to say that uh, the Klisura Cave 1 is, was excavated by Greek, uh, um, American, Polish ex uh, expedition. And here also is Sarakenos Cave, which is, uh, which is actually excavated by uh, Polish, Greek uh, ex expedition. And this, the site is situated very high, about more than 100 meters, above the layer of uh, the Copaisi, the former Copaisi Lake. In, uh, here is the, the entrance of the cave. And the stratigraphy of the cave is, um, uh, this is Mesolithic <coughs> layer four. Below there are these final Paleolithic layers. Um, you have early Neolithic layer with, uh, with up in the bottom uh, with monochrome pottery and in the upper part also with painted pottery, and the middle uh, Neolithic and late Neolithic layers. But the, this, this is very interesting, that in the Mesolithic layer 4 in Sarakenos cave, birds predominate mostly Columbia Livia, in association with a minor contact of small, fast-moving animals. The total isolation of Mesolithic groups in this region, not uh, in this layer four, is uh, the use of exclusively local, raw, low quality raw materials like limestone, sandstone, and quartz. This necessitated the use of flake techniques, denticulated notched and chopper type tools, while blades or microflake technologies were absent. In all likelihood, the role of wooden tools was more important. Moreover, micromorphological analysis shows the large quantities of green parts of plants that were brought to the cave. And this is this industry, very particular for Mesolithic, very, very special, with uh, this flake technology based on a big um, uh, pebbles, and uh, also uh, there are some uh, some discoidal cores, and there is this this uh, chopper-like tools make f 
from small uh, pebbles. Uh, the second uh, group of adaptation I would like to present here are littoral adaptation, particularly in Eastern Peloponnese. They are represented by the well-known sequence um, studied by Katrin Perles and the American team, uh, uh, mostly concerning level seven to 10 in Frank T. Cave, where essential change can be seen in the process of adaptation between early and middle Holocene. In phase seven, uh, concerning the um, uh, subsistence economy, in phase seven, is the phase seven is dominated by medium-sized ungulate, cervids cap capris, and fruits of pistachio nuts, plum pear, and seashells. A radical change take, takes place in phase eight, with the reorientation of subsistence economy on marine resources. In this layer, tuna remains the most numerous, <coughs> while bones of fallow deer and wild pig are few. Tuna fishing is registered also in, five, uh, in phase nine. It remains uh, together with some plant macro remains, which include wild oat and possibly domesticated cereals. Only in phase 10 mm -hmm. that the first species of unquestionably domesticated plants and animals appear. Uh, concerning the industry, we have also the uh, important changes in the sequence. The lithic industry in Frank T. Cave indicates a hiatus between Epi Paleolithic Epigravetian with micro Beckett pieces and microburins technique in phase in phase uh, 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 and in phase seven, where flake technique is most important. This is the first layer of Mesolithic, um, with a very important uh, uh, import the, the importance of uh, the flake technique, uh, and um, as late uh, as phase eight. Uh, trapezes and Beckett bladles appear. And in fa phase nine, the flake technique became, second, became also important, but appear some um, flesh tranchant, which, are, uh, the, which show some links with the central Mediterranean Mesolithic. And the the third type of uh, adaptation are insular adaptation in the Aegean Sea. These adaptation are represented by proto-settlement of Marulas on Kitnos Island and the site of Cyclop Cave uh, on Gura Island in northern Sporets. Here is the uh, place of this proto-settlement of uh, Marulas and this proto settlement of Mar this is the map of this proto settlement of Marulas, with uh, uh, with more than twenty um, uh, round stone uh, dwelling structures, and in some of these are these dwelling structures with pavements, and in under some of these floors of these structures appear also the uh, uh, burials. And uh, it is interesting that the industry is mostly um, made from quartz and obsidian. Um, quartz is local. Obsidian, of course, is uh, um, the evidence of the circulation of uh, uh, obsidian networks um, uh, li linked with Mel Milos and Giali Island. And we can see the difference of the, of course, of the, the technology and tool morphology between these two um, uh, raw materials. Uh, particularly here, there are mic microlithic obsidian um, uh, backs or perforators, and uh, also there are some um, uh, uh, Beckett pieces and double truncation like similar to trapezes, but is for t is, it is a very early site. I, 
I mentioned in the beginning that Marula's site is uh, uh, dated to the um, uh, is dated to the first half of the uh, ninth millennium BC, uh, calibrated, and. Uh, mm, uh, uh, now um, uh, we have also the, um, this um, insular adaptation on the um, island of Gyura in the Cyclop Cave, and uh, in this case, fishing played a major role. Uh, for example, uh, in the northern sporads, and um, uh, in Cyclop Cave we have um, uh, many bone hooks numerous fish bones, mostly from Sparide family, were mm, found. Moreover, bones of gold and uh, in, in the, probably in the early phase of domestication, according to Mrs. Trontalidou, was uh, also found. Uh, here, uh, for the end of my presentation, is, a, is this comparison of these three types of adaptation of the Mesolithic population on the Southern Balkans. We, we have this intracontinental um, model with the continuity from Epipaleolithic to Mesolithic and with hunting on small, medi medium animals. Uh, in, the, in the littoral model, you have no, uh, you have a gap uh, with between the Epipaleolithic and Mesolithic, and in the Mesolithic you have different um, models of uh, 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 of, uh, of uh, subsistence economy, hunting after fishing, and after the elements of Neolithic package in the form of some um, domesticated um, uh, cereals, and. In this insular model, uh, uh, we, we, uh, we in, uh, in which uh, we have fishing, uh, snail gathering, and incipient food producing. Um, the, the, uh, uh, this, um, this correlates, of course, with this semi-sedentary uh, way of life. Uh, the uh, multi-seasonal occupation of the site, like Marulas, and uh, of course we can uh, this uh, uh, tentatively link with some contacts with the Eastern Mediterranean, particularly with Cyprus, and also in this um, insular model we observe the circulation of obsidian from these two sources. Thank you very much for your attention.